Hello, everyone. Hello, students. So today we're going to go over um, a kind of advanced English expression. So this one, um, I think that some English speakers will say this a lot of the times. Some people will say it sometimes and some people will never say it. So, um, but I want to make sure that you understand what it means um, in case you hear it, okay? And today's kind of advanced English phrase is, da -da -da -da, in and of itself, in and of itself. Oh, I've got marker everywhere. <laughs> okay, I just taught a lesson. So, in and of itself, in and of itself. So when we speak a little bit quickly, when native speakers speak quickly, we don't say in and of itself, right? We're gonna combine a lot of our sounds. So instead of in and of, it's gonna become in and, in and of, in and of it, in and of itself, in and of itself, in and of itself. Okay, so um, a lot of the times and, and becomes like almost just an N sound. Like we, we take out the A, we take out the D sometimes, um, depending on the words around it, right? So in and, in, in and, in and of, in and of itself, in and of itself, in and of itself. Okay, so what, what does this expression mean and why am I teaching it to you? <laughs> Okay, so um, if you want to use this expression, feel free to use it. Um, some English speakers think that we don't need to use this phrase at all. And some people think that sometimes it's good to use it. So let's talk about the meaning and I'll show you some examples. And then you can decide if you want to use it. But even if you don't use it, you should know it, right? Because you're gonna hear English speakers say it, okay? Quite advanced, I think, okay? So, we have the meaning right here, in and of itself, in and of itself, in and of itself. So it means by itself, without considering any other factors on its own. So, this means, this expression here, in and of itself, means on its own, with no other factors considered, okay? So you might think, why do we need to use this expression? Well, um, you, you could argue that we don't need to use it. You could argue that it's kind of meaningless. So um, let's look at number one, okay? And then I'll explain more about how we can use this. So your idea, comma, in and of itself, comma, isn't bad. Your idea in and of itself isn't bad. But you should consider what others might think. Your idea in and of itself isn't bad but you should consider what others might think, okay? So, what does this sentence mean? So it means your idea by itself with no other factors. Your idea alone isn't bad. However, you should consider what others might think. So in this sentence, we don't know what the idea is. Um, for example, uh, if a celebrity said, you know what, I have an idea. I want to um, bungee jump off a bridge. Okay, I wanna, I wanna bungee jump off a bridge in front of all of my fans. So maybe the celebrity's manager, your idea, <laughs> by itself, in and of itself, isn't bad. But you should consider what your fans might think. So if your fans are young children, maybe you don't wanna show yourself jumping off a bridge. Maybe it will be scary for them, or maybe they wanna try it for themselves without the proper um, equipment. So 
your idea isn't bad if it's just your idea. But if you consider everything, maybe it's a bad idea. Okay, are you following me? Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments, okay? I'll try and answer them. So number two, let's see. The singer's final song was, in and of itself, a masterpiece. So what does this mean? Well, we could say the singer's final song was a masterpiece. So um, this one just means that uh, the singer's final song was by itself a masterpiece. Maybe the whole concert was a masterpiece, but also just this one song alone was also a masterpiece. So you could, you could change this sentence to be, the singer's final song was a masterpiece, okay? But I would say that if you use in and of itself, it has a little bit of um, emphasis, right? So you're saying this song alone is a masterpiece, okay? So um, it depends. Uh, what what you want to say some people won't include this some people will include this so it's up to you right and um sorry i forgot to mention um comma 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 usually if in and of itself comes in the middle of your sentence you're gonna put commas between it because it is kind of like that extra bit of information that's not really necessary the sentence makes sense without it right so in and of itself, okay? Please remember to use commas. All right, and um, number three, let's try number three, okay? His proposal, so maybe he's giving a, you're having a meeting and um, you're, you give a proposal to your team or to your boss, right? His proposal in and of itself, his proposal by itself, is excellent, but I doubt the boss will approve it, okay? His proposal in and of itself is excellent, but I doubt the boss will approve it, okay? So his proposal, his um, uh, whatever his idea was, his proposal is good. By itself, it is good. However, if we consider what the boss wants or what the boss thinks, uh, maybe he might not approve it. There might be some problem with the boss, right? Okay, is that understandable? So doubt, if you don't know what doubt means, doubt means um, you don't think something will, will be how it should be, right? So uh, even though his proposal was good, I don't think the boss will approve it. I doubt it, okay? Then uh, let's see, number four. This one is a little bit uh, tricky, right? Okay, so the weather was not, okay? The weather was not in and of itself the cause of the delay, okay? The weather was not in and of itself the cause of the delay. So we're talking about weather and we have a delay. So like with these other sentences, we could take out these and it still makes sense in the way that we want it to, right? His proposal is excellent, but I doubt the boss will approve it. If you take this part out, it still makes sense in the way that I want to say my sentence, right? However, here, the weather was not in and of itself the cause of the delay. If we take out this expression, the weather was not the cause of the delay. The nuance of the sentence changes slightly, okay? So if I say the weather was not the cause of the delay, it means that the weather was 0% part of the delay. The weather was not the reason, was not the cause of the delay. However, when you add in here, the weather was not 
in and of itself the cause of the delay. It means that the weather by itself didn't cause a delay, but maybe the weather and some other factors together were the cause of the delay. Okay, so you gotta be careful if you're gonna take this out or put it in. It could change your sentence nuance, okay? So I think some people might argue that it doesn't really matter that much, but I'm just telling you that it does change the nuance slightly, okay? So um, I hope that you're understanding uh, these examples. I hope it's very clear. Um, I would say this is a very advanced English phrase to use. Um, I think even some native speakers don't really know what, why we say this, but um, just so you know that you might hear it sometimes from native speakers, okay? So in and of itself means by itself with no other factors on its own, okay? So let's go through these one more time. Your idea in and of itself isn't bad, but you should consider what others might think. Number two, the singer's final song was in and of itself a masterpiece. Number three, his proposal in and of itself is excellent, but I doubt the boss will approve it. And the last one, the weather was not in and of itself the cause of the delay. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. I'll do my best to um, answer them for you. But for now, I have to go and I hope you can understand uh, what we've discussed today. Okay, I hope this lesson in and of itself was not that difficult. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Okay, um, I will be back um, with some more lessons on the YouTube channel and the Facebook page very, very soon. And just so you know, all of December, we are going to be uploading, I am going to be uploading lessons every day to the YouTube channel. So please subscribe. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.